Morning campus, it is windy and a lot colder this morning. However, uh, if we look at the top of the mountain up there, the sun is shining on it, so, and this blue skies. So it may well be another hot one, uh, but we're just gonna get through the, uh, the first hour or two of it being a bit colder and windier, which actually is not a bad thing. Legs are feeling a lot more sore today. Yesterday when I woke up, they felt great. But yeah, today, a bit sore because we did 56k yesterday uh, and we've got further to go today. So I've got my coffee, I'm just going to get some food, have breakfast. It is about six o'clock in the morning. I might go for porridge this morning. Cute. What? Yeah, not too bad. I was just saying my legs are a little bit sore. But thank you. Um, I'm going to go for some jam, I think, yeah. There you go, enjoy. Thank you very much indeed. Hello, hello. Hi there. Come up. Uh, Good morning. Uh, right, you want to see the water bottles, don't you? No, I don't oh, want to see the water bottles. <laughs> no, I don't want to see the water <laughs> that's bottles. That's I want to that's see that's something that's at the bottom that's of that's your bag. Oh, I, know. I, I knew that you would. I knew that you would. Right, I'll wait near. Yeah, down the side, yeah. Cause... Sorry, 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 sorry. Right, another, another hot day. Uh, so tips for hot weather. Moderate effort level. That will certainly be me today. Drink to thirst. Soak your hat be alert for signs of heat exhaustion. See you later. Yeah, see you after. Right, we are off day three of the Cape Wrath Ultra. See ya. So once we get onto the hill and we get in the sunshine, I'm gonna be taking this jumper off. I just felt it was a bit cold this morning and it's definitely going to be moderate effort level. My legs are sore today. First thing we're doing today is a 700 meter climb. So a chance to just ease into the day. Having had a tougher end to day two than expected, we knew there would be no let up and history suggested day three would be tougher still. So day three of Cape Wrath. We are uh, not too far away from the top of this first climb. Just come across James. How's it going, James? It's hot again. Really hot. But there we go. It's not raining, is it? Like 2022. <laughs> this is the thing. It's feel bad about complaining, don't we? Because it's like beautiful weather, gorgeous scenery, and yet we're moving so slowly. Both of us are a little bit worried about the cutoffs already, aren't we? Absolutely, yeah. We're an hour and 52 minutes in, and we've only covered eight and a half K. We have been going uphill most of that time. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Two hours and 21 minutes in, we've not hit 10 K yet. We are at the top of the first climb, which is about 750 meters elevation above sea level. Amazing views, it's going to be an absolutely stunning day. I think it's supposed to cloud over a little bit later on, but right now, clear blue skies. A bit of a technical downhill coming up, but yeah, not even 10K, 9.75 and two hours, 22 minutes into the run on day three of the Cape Wrath Ultra. That was one heck of a climb. Okay, so downhill now, a bit of a technical descent. We were now in the Glen Shiel mountain range and traversing the flanks of the saddle, an impressive 1,000 meter high Munro. A Munro, just in case you don't know, is any Scottish mountain over 3,000 feet. I made my way down a very technical descent as we continued through the Kintail National Scenic Area to our first checkpoint just past Shiel Bridge. 15 kilometers done. Ooh. That's what happens when you're carrying your camera and you're not paying attention. You've got to be concentrated constantly on these downhills. If it's not jagged rocks, it's bogs. 
that you just slip and slide in or trip over so like I did just there anyway 15 kilometers done three hours 37 minutes just coming down to a river here where we can refresh water bottles that's good isn't it me going over twice on camera I'm just going to take my time now because this is very very muddy um, as I was saying not too far off the bottom of this descent and then I think it's a little bit of relatively good running which we might be able to use to catch up a bit of time because we are I mean I think I'm struggling with the cutoffs there's loads of people behind me three times would you believe me if I told you that I hadn't fallen over at all so far today and I've just fallen over three times in the space of two minutes holding the camera oh, okay. 64k in total today we've got less than 50k to go right now you might well be questioning my shoe choice I was wearing Hoka Speedgoat 5s the thing is, you'll never find a shoe which works perfectly on all terrain. I could have worn my Innovate Mud Claws, which would have been better on that muddy descent, but they would have been far less comfortable over the distance and would have been far less reliable on other surfaces. In general, on events like this, you wear your most comfortable shoe. I grabbed a latte at a cafe in Shield Bridge and made it to checkpoint one just before the advisory cutoff time of 11.30. This is beautiful but hard. Really difficult. I am now, I think, chasing cutoffs. So, I mean, we've got 10k to go to do in two hours 40 minutes I always say this don't I but on every other day that's perfectly doable but in this heat with the climbs we've got to do you know I, I feel like I need to be on it and need to be making sure that when I'm climbing every kilometer is under 15 minutes because if it's not that is almost game over and I wouldn't be completing the Cape Wrath Ultra Top of the second climb, we've got 4k to go to get to the next checkpoint and it's uh, 1.30 in the afternoon, we need to be there in an hour and 20 minutes so I think we should do it but it just depends how technical this descent is or this next section. Having only just hit checkpoint 1 in time, I was genuinely worried about the mandatory cutoff at checkpoint 2. The climb had taken us up through the woods at Duristain and on towards one of the highlights of the run, the Falls of Glomach. At 113 metres, it's one of the tallest waterfalls in the UK, although I didn't venture anywhere near the edge and I was very keen to keep moving to get through the gorge and down to checkpoint two with time to spare. OK, this is checkpoint two, that descent through the gorge there was pretty horrendous and uh, we've only made it 20 minutes within cutoff but we do now have time so we can relax a little bit and have some food thank you gents Pleasure. take care, See you later, take care. yeah okay so panic over well I mean it wasn't a massive panic but that's the gorge we've just come down there from the waterfall and it was, uh, yeah, I mean, I thought we had loads of time, but it ended up being a little bit tight, but we made it. So I'm gonna get some food out now. I've got Marmite crisps, Baby Bell, pe roasted peanuts. So we'll just chill out for the next 10K or so, relax, just take it nice and easy. 
The final checkpoint, by the way, uh, is only a guidance time, so um, it's not a mandatory cutoff. So hopefully we're okay anyway. 30k to go. The effort to get to checkpoint two had perhaps had more of an effect than I'd realized at the time. I was beginning to suffer. I took my time walking along the banks of Loch Nalair track, hoping to recover, but I just couldn't get it together. And over the next few kilometers, my race began to unravel. I have to say I'm suffering quite a low period now. We've done about 45 K, I've got 20 to go and it just feels endless and my feet are hurting. I'm hungry, but not for the stuff that I've got to eat. I'm thirsty, but not for water, which is all I've got. That, that latte, I had a latte at a cafe about 30 K ago and it was absolutely lovely and I'm just dreaming of having one of them again. So the time is about half past four and cutoff is at 10 o'clock tonight at the finish line. So we've got 20, 20k to do before 10 o'clock tonight, so five and a half hours. That's marching out 15 minute kilometers and right now, that is all I feel like I can do. When you feel low like this, you've got to try and focus on the fact that you've been here before you've done things like this before where you've been really low and you've been really tired and everything hurts and you just want it to stop. You've got to focus on the fact that you've been there before and you've got through it and come out the other side. The problem today is that when I get to the end of this, and I know it's going to be quite late. I'm not going to have very much time to eat, prepare for tomorrow. And then we've got, you know, another run tomorrow. And I know it's not very long. It's only about 20 miles tomorrow. But nevertheless, it still feels like even if I finish today, it's not over. I've got more to do and then more and then more and then more. So and I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. I don't want to do it. I can't do it. It's too hard. I'm not fit enough. I'm tired. I want to go home. And I'm just here, yeah, just really low, really low. Lo lowest I've been actually for quite a long time. I don't think I've been this low in a run since Valderan, about 80 miles into 80 K into Valderan. I just wanted to pack it all in and go home. Let's see what happens anyway. I mean, and the, the, the other annoying thing while I'm on about this is that it's such beautiful scenery and the weather is absolutely perfect for running. It's cooled down a bit now. So it's not even that I'm too hot, it's just gorgeous. But I'm not able to appreciate it because I'm in that low spot where I'm not interested in how beautiful it is. I'm not interested in, you know, how perfect the conditions are. I'm just interested in finishing and lying down and going to sleep for a long time. In a world of green, just like a dream, you and I are standing wild and free with petals so golden. Sun's warm kiss, a love so strong, a bliss. Whispers of the breeze, secrets unfold. It's you that I need, it's you that I want. When the world gets cold, it's you and me. When the sun comes back, you'll see. Oh, Through pavement we will grow 
how lovely is that? No matter how bad I'm feeling and how much I want this to be over. That is amazing. It was absolutely stunning by the shores of Loch Calavi, with the sun low in the sky. I locked into survival mode and managed to run on what was fairly decent flat terrain towards the final checkpoint near Ben Dronegg Lodge. Just past the uh, checkpoint three, which is our 7 p.m. cutoff, made it there at 6.43. So inside cutoff, but I mean, I'm gonna finish now today. It's, it's 11, 12K to go. Um, I will finish it, but whether I go out tomorrow, I seriously doubt at the moment. I'm just so wrecked and I just can't see how I can possibly pull 20 miles out of the bag on terrain like this tomorrow. Anyway, that's for another time. Let's just see what happens for the rest of the night. 12K to go. We've got to get there by 10 o'clock tonight. It is quarter to seven. Final climb of the day coming up, 400 metres, and then it's 5k home down the hill. I should have time. I've got 4.2 kilometres left to go. I can see the camp down there. It's 3k away. I'm screwed. Totally done but we'll get this done tonight. It's just before nine o'clock, 8.56. I've got an hour to do 3K. I'm going about 20 minutes per K at the moment. <laughs> One mile to go. Sun's gone down. It's about 20 past nine. Day three of the Cape Wrath Ultra is generally regarded as the toughest day. And there were points at which I truly believed I was done and that was it. The whole last 20 kilometres I was fighting mental demons in dark places and it was only when I called my wife on the final descent that she managed to talk some sense into me. These markers they leave to um, show you the way in. Just under 400 metres to go across the river. Feet wet. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. There's the lights of camp. Thank you guys. Right, there we are. Day three done, but that was absolutely knackering. Welcome. Bye. It's in the zip pocket. Congratulations. Thank you. you out. Well, we got 20 minutes until the kitchen closes. You need to get some food. Here Thank you, you guys. Appreciate it. Well, something for your time. Well done. Well done. I'm not ashamed to say that I shed a few tears on the walk back to my tent, and I honestly did not know if I would feel able to get up and start day four. Right, we're going this way today. Coming up in episode five of the Cape Wrath Ultra. We're here, we're going to go for it. In myself, I feel so much better than I did yesterday. No coffee, no latte, no ice creams. No sympathy. No sympathy. Get on with it. Jeez. I was looking at the guy in front who's running up the hill that we're oh, nice. slowly slogging up. As long as I don't trip on a stone while I'm talking into the camera. So just get some good sleep tonight and we'll be on again tomorrow. It's the dementia pills kicking in again. 